hey guys let's focus on our next topic global value what is this in the asset right and what is its import importance we have to have a understanding before we appear for the exam so let's see now global value okay i'm going to show you the documentation but let's see the example first let's create a asset and let's give some name let's say i'm going to give welcome message and it's a text asset and here i'm going to write let's say i'm going to write welcome <coughs> with rakesh okay welcome back to automate with rakesh let's say so this is the message which i've given and it's a global value and i'm not doing anything over here i'm simply hitting on create now in this case what would happen so let's see in here i am going to use a uh, because it's a test a text asset i'll be using the get asset activity and here i'll be supplying the asset name which is welcome message okay with a double quotes paste this and then let's get the asset output okay so this is the output now let's see what kind of output it brings okay all done let's quickly run it so what am i expecting here i'm expecting the same message what i typed in the asset which is welcome back to um, automate with rakesh so welcome to whatever i have written right the exact value will appear welcome back to automate with rakesh okay now what is the use of it so first of all what we understood the meaning is all accounts receive the asset value when you enable it globally now if you disable it what would happen that means no one will receive it right so for example if i go back to orchestrator and i'm going to disable it okay disable it now it will not allow you to save for example um, because there is no value you have supplied the moment you disable that means you are saying it should not be available globally that means it's supposed to be available individually right that is the meaning so for that you have to first go with add robot asset value okay click on this and here because it's a community edition i'll be having my own account which you can select and here i am typing the machine um so it is the user and machine pair we call it as user and machine pair and then i'm supplying a specific value for example here i'm saying hey no double quotes required okay hey rakesh welcome back so i'm putting a customized message for an individual user for a individual account i'm using a customized message so that is so global means it is allowing the same value to be globally used the other one is if you turn it off and then entering a asset for the user so you will you will also have a question rakesh what if i keep it on and also have a user added what would happen okay we will see that okay hit on update so now we have kept it off and having a user so here my own machine is a user L let me run it so this time instead of welcome back uh, or uh, welcome to automate with rakesh this time what would happen hey rakesh it will have a customized message so if you look at hey rakesh welcome back so this is a customized message which i have received now what would happen if i hit on edit and i am going to keep the global value also enable and i am going to enter a value let's say welcome back to my channel so this is a different message okay this is a different message no need to use double quote okay and here for the user this is a different now if i update it what happened global value is also enabled and a specific user also added that means for this user it will give that customized message for any other user who is trying to use it or any other machine which is trying to uh, get the asset where that bot is running so that will have the global value so global value is what for this getting it so you so if any such certain questions are coming if you have an understanding 
you will be able to answer it so welcome back to channel will come if it is a if it is already added and this account is already uh, having a customized message then the output will say hey rakesh welcome back this output would come getting it so now because my machine because i do not have multiple machines to test it so on this machine um, if i run it it will not bring the global value it will only always bring the customized value which i have added okay so that's all about it now let's look at the documentation okay let it run okay hey rakesh welcome back okay now let's look at the documentation very important global value okay all accounts receive the asset value unless a specific value is assigned on per account basis just now you saw that example if you enter global value every person will get the asset until unless you are assigning a user okay uh, all accounts receive the global value except john smith so this is just an example okay just an example like i have received rakesh has received same with this is just an example the value is received only by the specified account machine pair so i showed you we have added user and then we have also added the machine did you see did you notice it we have added the user and machine so this is known as the user machine pair okay uh, apart from that value per account so value per account is you know instead of uh, not you will not add the machine name just the user so if you see there is no uh, man you know it's not giving mandatory you have to enter the user is mandatory but the machine is not mandatory So we're using machine that will become user and machine pair. If we're using only user, it will go only with the user. Okay, there's a bit of documentation. Try to read that um, to understand the difference. Uh, for example, the value is received only by the specified account and machine pair. When specifying account machine pair, make sure they are valid. Uh, Configure account machine mapping in the tenant and folder. Do not exclude them. Otherwise, the job execution is not possible on the pair. Okay, so this is bit of um, you know experiment that you can try. It's not very important, but uh, always good to uh, know this. Okay, we don't know from which corner the questions might come. So just go through this sentence, and then uh, value per account. Just now you saw where we are not using a machine name. Okay, so this page is important. Just go through this page, and what is the page name? About assets. Simply type. You will get this page, and go through this page carefully before appearing for the exam. thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic